In this section, you are asked to calculate piston to cylinder wall clearance. Having the proper amount of spacing between the piston skirt and the cylinder wall is essential to proper operation of the engine. If the clearance is too large, the piston will make noise. If the clearance is too tight, excessive wear and severe mechanical damage will occur. In the first step of the exercise, in order to calculate piston to cylinder wall clearance, we must first measure the size of the piston, then measure the size of the bore. It is critical at this point to measure the piston where it is the largest across the major and minor thrust sides. The location where a piston is the largest varies from piston to piston. For the correct location of measurement for your engine's piston, refer to the service information provided. When measuring cylinder bore size, it is important that we take the measurement at a place where the cylinder is the smallest. Measuring just below ring travel at bottom dead center will give us the dimension of the cylinder where no wear has occurred. Here is an example of how to measure cylinder bore size. First look up the specification for what size the bore is supposed to be. In this example, the specification is given in a range. As we are most concerned about a bore wearing too large, we will pick the largest allowable size of 3.8735 inches to zero our bore gauge to. Using a calibrated micrometer set to 3.8735 inches, zero your bore gauge to the micrometer. Once zeroed, use the bore gauge to measure the size of the bore at a point just below ring travel at the bottom dead center position of the cylinder. The reading on the gauge is negative 5 ten thousandths of an inch. To calculate true bore size, take the size we zeroed the bore gauge to, 3.8735 inches, and subtract the 5 ten thousandths of an inch to give us a final bore size of 3.8730 inches. Now we must measure the piston size. In this example, the manufacturer says to measure the piston at the same height as the center line of the piston pin along the major and minor thrust side. Our reading was 3.8705 inches. Finally, to calculate piston to cylinder wall clearance, we must take our bore size of 3.8730 inches and subtract the piston size of 3.8705 inches. This gives us a piston to cylinder wall clearance of 0.0025 inches.